Hey guys, I'm back with another review, and today we are taking a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse, Connell, Superboy. Let's get a better look at that packaging, shall we? Here we are up close with the packaging. We, of course, have the window box with... Apparently somebody didn't use the heat gun right, because all the sticker residue is still there. So, massive bummer, um, but I'm also glad I'm not an inbox collector. We've got DC Multiverse logo right there. Connell, Superboy at the bottom. Of course, nameplate again. Random sticker that they keep putting on these. McFarlane Toys logo at the bottom. DC Multiverse logo right there. On the back, we have this really nice portrait of Superboy drawn by Dan Jurgens. I believe this is Dan Jurgens. It looks like Dan Jurgens' art. And of course, you have up there, you've got the nameplate and the DC Multiverse logo right there. Of course, McFarlane Toys. Social media is right there. Follow them at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then, of course, you got the nameplate, which doesn't have a source again. So I wonder if this is a new direction, if they're just dropping the whole rip from the source kind of thing. And then, of course, you have McFarlane Toys logo at the bottom right there. DC Multiverse logo at the top. Nothing but the window. Then on the bottom, we have another pesky barcode in the way of the actual barcode so i can't so uh for you barcode collectors out there i'm sorry but um you of course have the superman leeways and then where you would have the barcode normally but uh all right guys let's get this dude out of the packaging all right guys here we have superboy out of the packaging and before we take a look at the figure we're of course going to take a look at the other contents of the packaging, which of course, as you guys all know clearly from now, it comes with a hockey puck base, which of course has the one peg right there, DC logo right there, and then the four little circles to, for when you pop out the mold. And then we of course, when he comes with the card, which has that same awesome artwork by, I'm going with Dan Jurgens of Connell right there on the packaging looking very good and then on the back we of course have the bio which does a very good job he's a clone of Superman and Lex Luthor which makes him a very interesting character when they go down that road with the character because again Connor is um he, let, he, of course, takes the high road with Superman, but sometimes when things get bad enough, he starts to regress a little towards his Lex Luthor side, and that's always very interesting to get into. But enough about his comic book backstory. We're here to talk about the figure. So this looks like it's an all-new sculpt from what I can see. We, of course, have this very expressive head where he looks like a punk rocker from the 90s. He, of course, has the five o'clock all around. The, li the light's not picking it up. Well, it's very faint, but you can clearly tell. There is a five o'clock there, like he is a teenager who doesn't know how to shave. And then he, of course, has the fade around the back, which I think is painted on very well. Really like how they painted on that fade. And of course, we have the leather jacket with the spikes on top and wearing the Superman logo under there. You can't you can't reveal the full Superman logo. It only goes to about there. There's some glue like right there that keeps the jacket in place. So there's that. The back, of course, we have the Superman logo right there looking very nice. Got the belt buckle right there. You have these random kind of belt strap pieces. N the 90s had a weird obsession with straps, don't ask why. Then of course he has a little Superman, has a little S patch that's actually um, sculpted in. The stitches are actually sculpted in on the figure. So there's that there. We've got knee pads right there, which looks very cool. Of course, you got down to the boots with the sculpted shoelaces, even on the hinges. 
So again, new sculpt here. We got a brand new sculpt here. Again, no no reused parts from my recollection. They might have reused the legs and just they might have reused the legs of the John Kent, but just like did something so they could hide those um those parts and put the boots in case the boots around them. They might have done that. But yeah, outside of that, this is a brand new sculpt, which is very dope to see. The arms look very much like a leather jacket. I also love the choice of this open hand right here. It, uh, I know that's not what they're going for, but they, it gives me some major spaghetti Western vibes where they're like trying to reach for the gun very slowly. It just gave me that kind of, because usually you'd see like Clint Eastwood in a movie like that, like with a hand very similar to that. And you could also do something where he's like, you know, stroking back his hair or something like that. So it's a very expressive choice for a hand, which I really do like. He, of course, also comes with a fist hand. And again, brand new sculpt because it's actually uh, cut in. The skin is actually cut in. Like if you run across, if you run your nail across the hand, there's a little dip right there. Then there's a little dip right there, meaning that they actually sculpted the hand just for this figure, which is really cool. And of course, you got the the sleeveless uh, gloves right there, the fingerless gloves, looking very nice. And then this weird contraption right there. <laughs> I have no idea what that's for, but. I, this is the era of comics I know the least about, at least in the post-crisis uh, continuity. This is the era I know the least about. I just know of the rad designs, like um, Asriel and Parallax in the background, characters like that. But outside of that, I don't really know a whole lot. So he's pretty, he's an anachronism for me. I'm of the camp where I just like uh, the Connor Kent Superboy with the Superman t-shirt personally that's my favorite design this one's kind of too much for me and it's kind of just like i don't like the punk rocker look but the figure overall is a very neat figure overall so let's get into the articulation of this awesome figure right here so of course he has the ball hinge neck where he can look up about that far he can look down pretty good Oh, hello. So there is a problem. When you bring it down, you have to shift it up and then up, or else it'll run into that neck piece right there. So be aware of that. He has the, sh the ball hinge shoulders right there with the armpit joint, so you can give more expression to those shoulders right there. And then you can also go all the way around. He has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which look pretty good to be honest. And then when you're not moving it at all, it looks very flush. So I'm very happy with that. And then of course you have the standard McFarlane wrist joints, which move up and down. And then if you really want them to, you can move them in and back like so, as I just showed you, it's a very cool stuff right there. And then with the abdomen, you can move all the way around. He can crunch forward, pretty good. He can go back, very good. And then of course can tilt like so. Standard McFarlane legs right there. Got thigh pivot right there. Double jointed knees, nicely covered up by this knee pad so it doesn't look as bad. And then with the boots, you of course have swivel at the top of the boot, ankle pivot at the bottom, and of course hinges up and down with the sculpted shoelaces on the actual ankle joint, which makes it look very nice. And then of course, toe articulation. 
as always. So overall, very decently articulated and a very decent sculpt. I really like the sculpt that they're that they did for this figure because he's supposed to be a punk rocker and he looks like a punk rocker so mission accomplished and up first we have superboy next to his dads we of course have superman and lex luthor right there and the strange these do not go well together at all because of course connor should be shorter than superman and he is obviously taller than this superman I understand it's the Action Comics uh, 1000 Superman, so there's that. There is like an outdatedness to that figure, and I've been anxiously waiting for them to drop the standard Hush Superman. But as of now, I wouldn't put him with uh, this guy right here. I'd put him with the Hush version or the Rebirth version from my understanding. But uh, he looks great with Lex, though. Here he is with a lot of the other figures of the Superman line so far. We of course have Eradicator, we have Action Comics in the back, we have Ultraman, and we have Superboy Prime, and then we of course have our new Superboy right there. And like I said earlier, with Action it doesn't really work, but with this uh, Rebirth slash Eradicate that the Eradicator is based off of, he actually works compared to him because of course Superboy's supposed to be skinny superman's supposed to be a bigger character i i like to think that superman's not as big as batman like batman is physically more imposing than superman but superman you know is superman so he makes up for it i like that a lot i really like that dynamic so i really like the um physique disparity between eradicator and superboy and hopefully i get a superman on that buck very soon so i can have so i can have those two to compare in equal size and here we are with some of the younger members of the titans here with our new superboy we of course have his best buddy impulse right there and then we of course have aqua lad right there and honestly connor and impulse look great together like i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty sure they did the same artistically speaking like i'm pretty sure they intended for people to put uh connor and impulse together and be like yeah that's connor and impulse but with aqualad again he's more of a realistic buck so obviously these two don't gem as much but these two they look like they're coming straight out of the young justice books it's incredible you have the 90s train tugging along you couldn't have me put hit put connor right here next to all of my other 90s DC designs right here. We, of course, have Parallax right here, one of the main villains out of the 90s. You got Asbat, got Eradicator in the back, and, of course, our new Superboy. And, again, these guys look like they're part of the same era. Like, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty great. These, If you want to put, like, a 90s shelf together, do it. These all look great together. Do it. I'd love to see that. And all right, guys, that'll do it for this new Connor Kent Superboy figure. And overall, I dig it. I It's not my favorite uh, sidekick figure in the world. I was honestly kind of thinking about skipping it. That's why the late review, I kind of was thinking about skipping both uh, Signal and Superboy. But then I just thought... Since I had the Titans together, and of course I got Impulse in on the Titans, I thought I might as well get Connor, and I've always kind of wanted Signal to complete the Bat family. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you don't really, if you, if you should get this figure if you're building a Superman shelf, designing uh, just like a sidekick slash Titans shelf in general, Young Justice shelf, and a 90s shelf. He's very versatile in that way. But if you're not looking for any of those, if you're looking for like Justice League villains and a Batman shelf, you're not gonna wanna get this guy. But if you're looking for those four shelves, get this guy immediately. He's very good. He has very much that 90s kind of feel to him. And I really respect that. And 
he's gonna be cool to look at and he's definitely gonna and people are definitely gonna be like what the hell is that you know what i mean so he'd be a great uh piece for you to, like bring the work and stuff like that but um again he's not my favorite figure in the world i give this figure an eight just because the sculpt and everything is awesome it's just not my favorite design for Superboy, and it doesn't give me that oomph that some figures like Batman Hush and uh, the Killing Joke Joker give off, you know what I mean? He's not going to be the highlight of my display or anything. Those are the only things that are like tens or things that are highlights of my display. But uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, it for this review. Of course, like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell me what you think about Superboy after the video. And as always, guys, uh, be kind and courteous to one another and uh, keep collecting. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.